Praise the Lord, Hallelujah. Blessed be the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ in this wonderful and blessed morning. Dear children of God, let us together on this year of 2023, on this June 4th Sunday morning, together to worship our God, to praise our God, our Heavenly Father, for this wonderful opportunity. Let us thank Him. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Last full morning. Our Lord protected us. Let us lift a hand and give God the glory. Hallelujah. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. For last night, for the good sleep he gave us and blessed us. Let us lift a hand and thank him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. With good health and happiness, this morning, the Lord who woke us up for his grace and mercy, let us lift a hand and thank him. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. This morning, our Lord, for victoriously leading us, for the works of our Lord, which is doing through us. Tell the Lord, thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, we worship you. Father, we praise you. Father, we tell you thank you. You are a good God. You are a great God. You are a faithful God. You are an unchanging God. And your mercy endures forever, every day, for holding us and leading us, guiding us, protecting us. Hallelujah, Father, for your love. And Lord Jesus, for hiding us under thy wings. Thank you, Daddy. Father, for the angels you have commanded to be around us, we tell you thank you. Hallelujah. Father, for all the blessing you have kept for us, prepared for us. Father, we tell you thank you. Hallelujah. For the salvation you have given to us, thank you. The blood of Jesus Christ for shedding for us, thank you. Father, for the great salvation you have given to us, by thy grace we thank you. Glory to you, Lord. Glory to you. Hallelujah. In Psalms 117, it says, Praise the Lord, all you Gentiles. Lord him, all you peoples, for his merciful kindness is great toward us, and the truth of the Lord endures forever. Let us pray together. Dear Heavenly Father, for this wonderful morning, thank you. Last full morning, Lord, you protected us. Father, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You gave us good sleep last night. Thank you. With good health, you woke us up. Father, thank you. This morning, for victoriously leading us. Father, for your grace, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord Jesus, this morning, for miraculously leading us, thank you. Father, this morning, everyone who is hearing this voice today, together we pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, bless everyone. Father, we bless the church meetings that are happening all over the world. Father, let it be an impact to everyone in this world. Oh, Father, Lord, thy glory, let it cover the world. Thy presence. Lord, let it fill the world. Let there be an intervention, mighty intervention of the Holy Spirit. Let every church meetings be overflowed, we pray. Lord Jesus, let who is being saying thy word be used mightily, Lord. Let there be a mighty spread of the Holy Spirit, the happiness of the Holy Spirit. Many to be saved, many to be baptized. Let it be a reason the church meetings are happening today. Father, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we bless every church meetings. Thank you, Father, for your mighty works, Daddy. Lord Jesus, today who is sick, and let them be healed. You are the good physician, Lord. Whatever your problem your children are facing, Father, thy grace, in the name of Jesus Christ, Christ, let it be upon everyone. Those who are suffering from prostrate problem, be healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Those who have got internal bleeding in the stomach, those who are worried, don't know what is the reason, in the name of Jesus Christ, let miracle happen. Every internal bleeding be stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. Internal bleeding be stopped in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, thy works, thy glory, for being poured upon your children. Father, we thank you. Lord, we pray for those who don't have a job. In the name of Jesus Christ, let way be open for your children. Financial difficulties, let your children come out of it. Every addiction, in the name of Jesus Christ, today, who is hearing this voice today, let them come out of it. Lord, we bless everyone. Father, thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' mighty and matchless name, we make this prayer. Amen, amen, amen. Let the Lord bless each one of you abundantly this morning. Let the God's grace, His peace, His joy overflow in your life in abundance, I pray. Hallelujah. Today, further, we are going to meditate from the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 9, verse 6. Listen carefully. 
But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Many a times, many of them, they don't understand this words very well. He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. In the kingdom of God, for the name of the Lord, a part of the blessing that God has given to us. And when we sow it back to him, but when we sow it in a low manner, it is called, it is said, those who sow sparingly will also reap sparingly. Hallelujah. Many a times, people are going through financial difficulties, going through poverty. Many of them in this world, when they face financial debt, they fall into it. And for a child of God, this is not God's principle. What happens in the world has got nothing or would not affect the child of God. Many things happen in this world. Yes, financial recession will come in this world. Many problems would be in the world. But children of God, without falling into financial problem, children of God, without falling into financial debt, the Lord does not desire that. So for that, what the Lord has prepared for us, a way for it is sowing for the kingdom of God, meaning unto the blessing what God has given to it, a part of it for the kingdom of God, returning it back, giving it back is what is being said over here. When we read over here, we can understand it is talking about financial concerns. So he who sows sparingly, he who sows little, how will you reap back? Sparingly, little. According to what we sow is how much we reap. So we hear the word of God very clearly says, He who sows sparingly, be it if you are sowing for the church, usually we put the least from the purse, the least money out of it is what we sow for the kingdom of God. What is the smallest currency is what we sow. It should not be like that. What God desires is, that we should sow in abundance because the benefit is that we will reap much. If someone speaks to you in this manner, you might take wrong for what they are preaching. This is talking about the principle of the kingdom of God. Those who sow in abundance will reap abundantly. But he who sows sparingly, he will also reap sparingly. So let everyone give as he purposes in his heart, not what others are saying. How much you have to sow? I have to decide how much I have to reap. So it says, so let everyone give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or out of necessity, not with an attitude, oh, I have to give, I have to give, what will I do? Or not in a forceful manner. Dear child of God, no one should force you. Oh, say, give, give, give. No, not in that manner. But for God loves a cheerful giver. Give the one who sows happily into the kingdom of God. God loves them. Look at the beauty of our Lord. So how is it that we have to give cheerfully, not forcefully? We should decide in never how this is my need. For example, if I have got a hundred acres of field, how much I have to sow grain over there, I will decide how much I want to harvest. According to that, I will decide in my heart and sow it. Do I have to do that? Sadly, no, because when I sow, I have a confidence. I know very well I am going to reap a great harvest out of it. Does someone have to force me for it? No, they have no relationship. The harvest is mine. Who sows for them is the harvest. Hallelujah. Like according to how I sow, that much I will, how much I re sow, I will reap out of it. So these days, Children of God, study this word very carefully. Many of them don't teach this, but you read this. Understand this word and in your life, if you want financial prosperity, sowing and reaping is very important. Verse number eight, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you. That you always have all sufficiency in all things. May have an abundance for every good work. So according to how we give in our life. Hallelujah. For grace in everything. Our God is great. It is very good for us to set David as, as an example. Second Samuel chapter 24 verse 24. 
It says over there, Then the king said to Arona, No, but I will surely buy it from you for a price, nor will I offer burnt offerings to the Lord my God with that which cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for fifty shekels of silver. Because he was king, Arona said, You take it freely, you do whatever you want. But then he said, I will not buy anything from you without a price. So what did David do? He bought it with a price. We should not have a worship without a price. We should learn to give it for the kingdom of God. Like sowing for the kingdom of God, there is nothing more blessing than that. Dear child of God, not because someone forced you, but rejoicingly. What is purpose in his heart? You should sow it. So don't forget this word. The one who sows in bountifully will reap also bountifully. The one who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. Yes, this word of God is talking about finance over here. But it is not only related to that. The one who for in every matters, the one who does good, sows good, you will reap good. And with these words, let the Lord bless you abundantly. In the name of Jesus Christ, our children will prophesy. Our young men will see, will see visions and our old men will dream dreams. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you today. Hallelujah. We are blessed. We are really blessed. We are permanently blessed. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you abundantly today.